Hey, welcome to Choosing All About Stocks. My name is Alan, and if you remember the scientist Gremlin uh, from Gremlins 2, I call him Dr. Fossey. We have him right here. So, we're going to go over five different stocks. They're all monthly dividend stocks. Let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, here's my little advisor thing saying uh, I'm not a financial advisor yeah I'm not a financial advisor so please don't sue me um, I, I'm not gonna give you financial advice I'm just gonna go over the numbers with you so we're gonna go over these five different stocks right here uh, we're gonna start out with reality income or O the dividend currently is twenty point twenty three four and it is a RET they focus on uh, real estate mainly now their current assets are at 21 mil or 21.9 their current liabilities are 10.11 that gives them a current ratio of 2.17 which is pretty good now their uh, current shareholder equities which is just, just the assets minus the liabilities is 11.8 now I'm going to try to go over this pretty fast so I can get through all of them and now the uh, shareholder equity is just what's remaining after you subtract all the liabilities or all the assets minus all the liabilities and that's going to leave you at 11.8 now your shareholder equity ratio that's what you want to keep above 50 percent you're at 0.54 just right above uh, 50 percent excuse me just right above 50 percent so and with it being a ret you do want to be you you do want to be a little understanding that it, it's going to be a little debt heavy because you're putting out 90 percent of your uh, you're paying out 90 percent to shareholders now uh, with debt to equity once again uh, you're, you're looking at uh, 85 or 0.85 so that's going to be uh, pretty good too uh, I'm not seeing anything for concern net income uh, 124 479 uh, a little low um, but nothing too concerning no negative number there that's what I usually look for is negative numbers uh, return on equity is one percent. Uh, once again, you know nothing too concerning. Share price uh, seventy one fifty five. Uh, it's continued to climb throughout the months. Uh, er everything in the last few months have seemed to have climbed. Outstanding shares three hundred eighty one seventy four. Total revenue uh, one point six and uh, there are no preferred dividends now their estimated revenue on the low side that's uh, 459.2 so uh, let's see here the EPS 1.45 and something I will be adding in here something you can uh, will be going over later on and I've already started down here is quarter over quarter uh, now we're gonna be going over Orchard Island capital currently their uh, dividend is point oh six point uh, you got five in there point oh six you can round it up to seven uh, their assets are of uh, 5.1 and the liabilities are 4.5 the current ratios uh, 1.12 now they're still uh, looking good on the current ratio now your uh, total shareholder is uh, just 553 debt to equities 8.2 so they're saying that they uh, they're having a ton of uh, equity here 
I, I just don't see it. And so something's uh, not adding up for me on this one. Their net income, and that might be what it is, is they, uh, they're negative on their net income. So uh, shareholder equity, uh, let's see here, return on uh, equity, negative 3%. So that they're showing a lot of red flags here. Current price, uh, five dollars and twelve cents. Their shares are one hundred seventeen point five. Once again, negative revenue. Once again, uh, more red flags. I, I'd be careful if uh, you decide to invest in this company here. Book value is uh, negative point eleven. And EPS is negative 0.04. Now uh, let's go over uh, PSEC here. And we got a dividend of 0.06. And the current liabilities are 6.3 with liabilities of 2.3. Current ratio looks great at 2.6. Total assets, uh, I'm sorry here, total shareholder is at 3.9, which that looks good. The shareholder equity ratio is as 0.62, so they have no problem with debt. And the debt to equity is 0.59, so once again, no problem with debt. And PSEC uh, back in uh, 2020 when everything dropped, they were having a lot of problems with debt, so they pulled themselves out of that hole. Net income, 243, so they seem to be doing very well right now. Shareholder equity, uh, 3.9, and return on equity, 6%. Looks like they're doing fantastic as of right now. Uh, and uh, current price is eight $8. Uh, like I said, back in uh, 2020 when everything dropped, they were uh, down to $3.50. $3 uh, let's see here. Total revenue, 252 No uh, preferred dividends. And EPS is 0.22. LTC. Dividends is 0 0.19, 19 cents per month. And the current assets is 1.4, and the liabilities is 654. And that's a pretty good ratio right there. You got 2.17. Now you're looking at your shareholder uh, equity, uh, 762. Shareholder ratios, 0.53 so no problems with debt debt to equities 0.85 so looking good for the debt net incomes 18 18 333 uh, so yeah at least they're making money it doesn't look like they're making much uh, return on equities 2.4 so they are not making very much money but they're in the positive. It looks like this might be one of those things you can get in early on and uh, potentially make money in the long term. Current price thirty four fifteen. Total revenue one hundred sixty two eighty eight fifty five. Uh, estimated low is uh, twenty nine point nine. And EPS is 1.38. And that's where I'm going to have to stop it. I'm not going to have enough time to go over these last three right here. So we'll go over them in another video. Uh, hopefully y'all liked uh, everything I went over. I know I went over those uh, pretty fast. Uh, like, subscribe, send me a comment. Tell me what you're liking, what you're not liking, and uh, hopefully I can improve the videos for you. Uh, happy trading. Have a great day.